now to Haiti. Digital journalist John Bentley on the ground in Port-au-Prince explains why some fear the aid so desperately needed might fall into the wrong hands. Aid from all over the world has poured into Haiti, a country that desperately needs the help. And that's the reason why we are truly counting on the community international to come here and give us the best support they can. But the fear here in Port-au-Prince is that the Haitian government is keeping the money and supplies that are flowing in for themselves and not getting it out here to the people who need it most. Because a lot of people right now, they, they desperately need right now. This is, the, this is the do and die situation we're in right now. Even Haitian politicians agree that the government would squander the money. There are reasons not to give the money to the government. The money should be uh, should be channeled to the NGOs, Although, otherwise the money would just disappear. The U.S. government says it will do all it can to get the supplies into the right hands. I can't speak to what the Haitians believe. All I can say is that the commitment of America's airmen, soldiers, sailors and Marines is to make sure that the victims receive the help that they need. When American forces inevitably leave, though, Haiti's people may be on their own. John Bentley, CBS News, Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Thanks for watching us on Washington Unplugged. Join us again tomorrow at 12.30 when we'll have actual election results on cbsnews.com. I'm John Dickerson. Thank you.